Organizing the member for Vancouver Point Grey. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, uh, I'm sure uh, my friend across the way knows exactly uh, why I'm here and what I'm asking about. Uh, is there uh, anything in the budget uh, relating to expenditure uh, relating to the Jericho lands or any update that he can provide my constituents? Minister. Thank you, Mr. Chair. And the member opposite was kind enough to uh, forewarn me of his question. And I uh, may not have told him at the time, but it certainly remains the same answer that it was a couple of weeks ago, that <coughs> nothing has changed in terms of the Jericho lands from last year's estimates. As far as we know, the federal government is continuing to engage with the First Nations on the Department of Defense property, uh, which is uh, over toward Alma Street between 4th and 8th Avenue, and the provincially owned lands farther west. Uh, nothing has changed. And we will wait to see what transpires with the federal lands uh, before the next round of estimates so that we can advise the member opposite of any changes. But essentially, nothing has changed. Member. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, and, uh, and thank you uh, through you to uh, the Minister for that information. Um, just wondering uh, whether there's anything in the budget uh, uh, to send a staff member into those negotiations to sit in so the province is at least up to date on uh, what's happening, although I realize uh, it would be difficult to release that information given the nature of the negotiations. But is the province uh, sending somebody to these negotiations so our interests are protected? Minister. Thank you, Mr. Chair. And the answer is that we are neither invited nor attend any negotiations conducted by the federal government, but we do have um, land management, asset management staff who keep in touch with federal public works to find out what's going on. And there has been very, very little to report from them other than they are still speaking with the First Nations. Member. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Well, this is a, this is a very good opportunity, I think, uh, uh, for the government to, uh, to insert itself in this process because, uh, uh, Mr. Chair, I can certainly advise that in my community there's a huge amount of concern about what's happening, about what's being negotiated, what's being discussed, and that their interests aren't being protected. Uh, the history of this site, uh, Mr. Chair, is that uh, in 1946, uh, the provincial government uh, sold it to the feds uh, for the purpose of a permanent military base, but it's not a permanent military base anymore. Uh, and it was during the uh, during uh, wartime that we actually leased it to the federal government. So it's this cooperative attitude uh, historically on this site between the levels of government to accommodate the needs of each level of government. Uh, and Mr. Chair, I wonder whether uh, uh, the minister would consider dedicating some of his budget uh, to uh, to pushing forward, pushing the federal government to have a provincial presence at that table uh, because it's incredibly important. Minister. Thank you, Mr. Chair, and the working premise with the federal government with which I have perhaps more experience than I care to remember is that uh, we have great difficulty inserting ourselves in their relationships with First Nations. They take the view that they have their own jurisdiction, and in this case, they own the property, and so we uh, rely upon our diplomatic good offices to extract information from federal public works once they have finished their discussions with the First Nations. And that may change over time, but uh, right now we feel that that's the most productive way to keep a pulse on, a finger on the pulse in terms of the federal Jericho lands. And I can assure the member opposite this is a, an issue that we're trying to keep very much on top of.